I understand we have major news. Tell us what's the next yeah. step for Mercantile uh, Capital. Well, you you may recall, Bob, that we um, we were going to become a bank. I think sort of the uh, right. the the uh, plan was for us to you know quote unquote grow up and become a become an actual bank. And um, we went through that process. We had the name picked out. It was going to be called Emergent National Bank. Mercantile was going to be a division of that. Um, we uh, got our uh, OCC approval in September of 2008, and uh, we're all excited. Um, and then in February of 2009, we actually withdrew our application from the FDIC uh, when it became pretty obvious that the FDIC was not going to uh, approve us. Uh, they were they were not really in bank chartering mode at the time. I think they were they're more in um, you know shutting down bank Absolutely. mode and, and, st and still are. Um, it's unfortunate because I think there's effectively been a moratorium on new bank charters, which is too bad because I think what the the marketplace really has needed uh, even to this day is fresh capital, bank capital into the market, and um, and they kind of I think they could only focus on one thing at a time. And so we went back to the drawing board and. Um, have had many offers from a, a number of different potential suitors uh, over the last two, three years uh, to to be acquired or to be a part of their their uh, big plans to to have a bank or to be uh, become an existing part of an existing national bank. And ultimately, we have um, we've just signed a definitive agreement uh, about a week and a half ago with a, um, a local community bank here in, in Orlando called Old Florida National Bank. Um, They've technically been around since 1982, but they were re recently recapitalized about eight, 18 months ago. They've got about uh, 60 million in capital. They've got um, once our deal closes, the combined companies will have well, actually, they'll have close to 60 million in capital and uh, about 400 million in assets. Uh, and we expect it to close here sometime. Um, uh, could be as early as uh, late third quarter, early fourth quarter, but worst case scenario, first quarter of 2011. Congratulations! I mean that that, well, that is exciting. Now, um, what? How is that going to affect your business model? Are you going to branch out? Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's really not yeah, going to affect us much at all, Bob. I mean, um, we're going to be a wholly owned subsidiary of Old Florida. Um, we are going to be on autonomous. Um, we're going to keep everything in place. All of our employees are still in place. Um, we have employment contracts from everyone. Um, you know, we're still going to maintain our uh, our weekly loan committees, our approval thresholds. Everything stays the same. The biggest difference for us, Bob, is that um, our our business model uh, slightly changes to the positive, which is we go from using our own capital and um, you know 37 million plus of uh, commercial lines of credit, and we go to using um, deposits, which is what our competitors use. And uh, that that interest spread that we now pay um, basically drops right to the bottom line. So, um, you know, we're excited. I mean, you know, I'll be able to offer um, banking services to our existing clients, um, which we've never been able to do before. Um, to me, I think that's that's a huge benefit. Uh, as a shareholder in the bank, I'm, I'm going to want to do that. Um, we're certainly, I don't think the plans are for us to write in, uh, you know, loan agreements and, and things of that nature mandating that the deposit uh, depository accounts get moved to the bank or things like that. So I don't think we have that that concern, but obviously we're going to try and do it if it makes sense for uh, for various borrowers. Um, we'll continue to do interim loans for other banks all around the country like we do now. Um, you know, we've closed loans now in 30 states in Puerto Rico for just over half a billion dollars since we started. Um, you know, we're we're not expecting to be a threat, a, a banking threat to any of those lenders um, because our community bank, uh, Old Florida, will. You know, is is still geographically um, bound to the Orlando area, which is fine. Um, you know, we've uh, we've actually gotten since you and I talked last week, we've actually gotten um, regulatory approval. We've got Fed the Federal Reserve approval, and we've got the OCC approval. So, this is actually happening a little bit quicker than we originally planned. Um, but you know, I think it's uh, I think it's positive for everybody. I'm I'm excited. I know my staff's excited. Um, you know, I think eventually we will probably start doing some 7A loans, um, which we've never really done before uh, within Mercantile. I've, of course, done them in my history. 
um, you know, being in the small business lending for, for going on 13 years now. Um, I've done a lot of 7As. Um, it's not something that uh, Old Florida has a lot of expertise in at the moment, but it's something that we could probably do selectively. Again, we'll probably only do 7As in and around the Central Florida market. I don't know that we're going to be a big player nationally, but we will continue to be a big player uh, nationally on the 504 stage. You'll be offering no a product for your customers. Absolutely, yeah. Right. 